Welcome back. So as of yesterday, Chrome OS version 134 started to roll out. So in this video, as usual, I'll take you through some of the updates you can expect to see. So first up, I've seen some reports and had some comments about the Google Assistant being replaced by Gemini in Chrome OS 134. But as you can see, the Assistant is still very much here for me. If you just use the shortcut of holding the launcher key and tapping A, you'll bring that up if you've enabled it. And you can also see, of course, that Gemini is still here separately pinned to the shelf. So this could be a change that's coming that's not tied to the build, but it's not part of the 134 build itself. It might be that we see some change before 135 comes out to Chrome OS next month. The second update to cover is an update to Quick Insert. So Quick Insert launched back in October 2024. That was in Chrome OS 129. And as the name suggests, it's a way to quickly insert all sorts of things into anything you're typing on your Chromebook, ranging from clipboard items, recent documents, URLs, and more. If you're lucky enough to have a Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Plus or a newer Chromebook watching this in the future, you'll have the dedicated Quick Insert key on the keyboard. Otherwise, I'll link you to my shorts video showing you how to use this on any Chromebook, but essentially as I'll show you here in this Google Doc, hold down the launcher key and tap the F key and you'll get the quick insert menu pop up. Now the change in Chrome OS 134 here is to how you can insert a GIF and it's a fairly minor change to some but it's a nice bit of integration. So if you just tap on the GIF icon here, it's going to bring up the GIFs within the interface so without leaving the quick insert interface. Previously, that wasn't the case. So we're a little bit out of date here, but there's a lot of uh, St. Patrick's Day GIFs. Let's go for Snoopy. Just click on the GIF you want, and then yeah, it's gonna appear in your dock. So what I'm gonna do now is jump back onto an older version of Chrome OS just to show you that difference. Okay, so I'm on a different Chromebook, still running version 133, so the older version of Chrome OS. It's actually trying to update as we speak, but we're still on 133 right now. And if I'm just in a Google Doc again, showing you that slight difference in how inserting GIFs worked. So I hold down the launch key, tap the F key again, and you'll see here now, this part of the interface looks exactly the same. I can't notice any change at least. If I then hit the GIF button here, you'll see it's gonna launch a new separate interface taking me outside of the quick insert interface. So that's the change. They've made it a bit slicker instead of you coming out of the interface like you are here. So if you want, just jump back in the video slightly and watch how it worked before. But yeah, that's a very subtle change, but it's just a bit neater and tidier for anyone using quick insert, a lot smoother than it used to be. Okay, so the next update is in accessibility, an area we've really seen a lot of development in in recent updates of Chrome OS. So in the settings menu, I'm just gonna click over on the left-hand side into accessibility here. And then you're gonna to want to look for the keyboard and text input area, so in the middle here. So I'm just gonna click into that. And then if we look towards the bottom, so last month we saw bounce keys introduced in Chrome OS 133, so you can check the video on that if you want to know more about that. But in this release, Chrome OS 134, in March 2025, we're seeing slow keys introduced. So as it says here, it adds a delay between when you press a key and when it activates. So again, this is gonna be very useful for anyone, say with tremors or any similar condition, you might be pressing a key on the keyboard that you haven't intended to, and therefore you don't want that key to be recognized by whatever you're typing into. So this is going to let us add a delay. So we've got a bit of time to say, remove our finger from a key we may have pressed, or just know that if we've accidentally pressed a key, it's not going to be recognized in that time period. So let's come over here, click to turn it on. Let's move down a little bit so you can see this. And you've got this new sub menu opened up, so delay before activating key, and you're setting a time period. So the default is half a second. Let's just make it a second for the purposes of this demonstration, but you can obviously configure it on the slider, short to long. Let's close down the menu and go into a Google Doc. So if I'm now pressing the A key and letting go before a second is up, it's not going to show it to you. So you can probably hear me if I type away, tapping that A key really quickly, just to demonstrate this, you imagine these are accidental presses. It's not gonna show up. If I hold the A key down for longer than a second, 
there we go, it's going to show. So again, it's just another nice accessibility feature, making Chrome OS more and more accessible. Perhaps one of the most accessible OSs out there, but let me know what you think in the comments. So next up, an update for admins and students using their Chromebooks in an education establishment. Something I'm gonna to have to show you more through a screenshot here. But for graduating students who don't want to lose all their Gmail docs, sheets and slides, there's going to be a new content transfer tool as early as this month. That's going to help migrate your data to your own personal Google account. Admins will be able to pin an icon to the shelf to notify users and encourage them to use the content transfer tool. For the fifth update, if you're a business or a organization using Chrome OS in kiosk mode, this is going to be one for you. So we've got isolated web apps in Chrome OS kiosk mode. So kiosk mode for Chrome OS lets you run a single web app full screen with the rest of Chrome OS being locked down. You can imagine that's useful in retail or public spaces like museums. It is a paid feature, hence me not being able to demo it here, but it's good to know it's improving. And I'll link you to a document where you can learn more on that if it's something of interest. So as usual, it'd be great to hear from you in the comments as to what you think about these updates in Chrome OS 134. If you're looking for something to watch next and want to check out last month's update, that's the video on the left now covering Chrome OS 133. Otherwise, if you want to go with YouTube algorithms recommendation, that's the video on the right. Cheers.